What's up YouTube? Hey guys, I'm Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. I have been doing Vlogmas, as you guys well know. Not doing it very well, but doing it nonetheless. And so today I'm just going to pick out some of the products that were in both of these advent calendars that I was using. And going to use these to get ready today. I have some last minute Christmas uh, errands that I need to run, a few more things to pick up, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to be a simple look. I'm just going to play around. This is just going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, whatever happens, happens because it's okay. Um, nobody in my little podunk town is going to either appreciate or not appreciate what's on my face when I go into the Dollar General, so it'll be all right. <laughs> so if you'd like to see what I come up with using these advent calendar items, whichever ones I end up using then please keep watching. First of all, I wanted to show you guys a couple products that I received from Influencer. I got these free to review, so that's my disclaimer or my disclosure, whatever you want to call it. It is the Philosophy Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Line Correcting Moisturizer. And there's also a primer, and I'll be using that today too. Um, whenever these little tubes came, I thought, and I'm going to be able to figure out how I feel about this using this wee little thing but I have used it probably five or six times and I do have a little bit of an assessment as to if I like it or don't like it. Um, you guys know that I use Purity Made Simple. I have for my cleanser forever. I've tried a few things in between but I always go back to it. It's just no nonsense. Simple cleanser does what it needs to do and doesn't do any bad things to my face. And so I really like philosophy. I've used Miracle Worker. I've used Miracle in a Jar. Um, I've used, there's like all these different variations of this. So I was excited whenever they said philosophy with Influencer because I was like, yay, free, <laughs> free philosophy. But I was shocked that it was such a small sample, especially with, uh, with skincare because skincare tends to take a little bit of time uh, before you can actually tell the effects. But I will say, as far as my review goes with this, I really like it. It has a nice fresh scent. It sinks in quickly. It doesn't interfere. I've used the moisturizer on its own. I've used the primer on its own and I've used them together. Um, I really like that it does not interfere with my primer, other primers, it doesn't interfere with my foundation. Some moisturizers make primers ball up and I don't even know why, but they do. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm getting ready in the morning, I don't have like 15 minutes to let moisturizers sink in um, whenever I <laughs> am in a rush to get to work. I don't have time to wait so that it won't mess with my primer. So I would just prefer to start off with a product that doesn't do that. So I'm just kind of prepping my skin for what I'm getting ready to do. Um, Clinique Pep Start, I love for an eye cream. And I'm using my Laneige Lip Mask because my lips are crusty. I've been kind of sick off and on, more on than off for the last few weeks. And so for some reason, whenever I am not feeling good, my skin shows it by being very dehydrated. And so that's kind of how I start off. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the little tiny sample of primer. And this is the other one that I received free for review by Influencer. I always have to make sure I say that because we don't want anybody flipping out on us. This is the Anti-Wrinkle Miracle Worker Primer and it says Line Correcting Primer. And this has the weirdest consistency. This has the weirdest consistency. I'll show it to you. It kind of looks like a gel moisturizer. Um, the weird thing is it feels like a mix, like if you took a facial oil, like maracuja oil or something like that, or jo Josie Marin uh, argan, argan oil, and mixed it with a silicone primer, that's what this feels like. And whenever I used it, you guys know I always use professional because I have enlarged pores right here on my nose, down here on my chin. And so that's where I ordinarily concentrate primer. But since this says wrinkle correcting, I wanted to put it up here in my, in my crevices, up in my canyons, up on my forehead. And I also kind of 
run it underneath my eye right here a little bit. It's super smooth and but the point I was making is I didn't think just by looking at it and the way it feels and just my experience with primers like this I didn't think it would um, blur the pores but it does a pretty decent job I don't think it does as good a job as professional does but since I was using these to review I wanted to you know use it on its own without using anything to enhance it and I really do feel like it makes my skin look super smooth and I think it makes just a really nice canvas to go in with foundation So I've still been having a fight with my memory cards and I have one on order. I learned the correct one to use, I believe, and so I'm having to piece this get ready with me since those tend to be bigger files. With like an 8 gig card, a 4 gig card, a 1 gig card, and hopefully I will fit them all on these. If not, then I don't know. It may abruptly cut off at the end. We shall see. But I also put primer water over this, which I always do with every everything I use, just because it adds added moisture to your skin, and I just love the way it smells and feels, and it's super refreshing, and I love it. So I use it all the time. So... I have been trying a couple different combinations of foundations recently. Um, for the longest, I used a combination of the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula and the Maybelline um, 24 Super Stay, all that. These mixed together for color and finish purposes. Um, lately, I kind of wanted to go back and try out this CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous and I haven't used this one on its own. I've paired these two and it seems a little dark but I'm afraid this is going to be a little light but since today is an overall experiment and I used to absolutely love the formula of this like it's full coverage but it doesn't mat out your face to a point where it looks flat and yuck and so I'm going to try this today to see if it's too light on its own because you know if it doesn't turn out well then <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? I have been recently using a combination of a beauty blender and these two brushes. This is the Bye Bye Pores Powder and this is the Heavenly Skin Brush by It Cosmetics and this is the Morphe M457. Hey guys, when you guys wash your brushes, do they look clean and then you get them dry and there's still makeup in it? I don't understand like I will wash it and wash it and wash it like for two hours and then it's still dirty but that's all right I'm gonna use this one anyway today I can usually get away with using these once or twice before it doesn't give the airbrushed effect anymore because this is so soft and oh it's a beautiful wonderful brush but I've been getting in the habit of washing them when I know I'm gonna have a day that I don't wear makeup and letting them dry so they're ready for me but I think I'm just gonna give this a try on its own I am becoming pretty pale <laughs> because I have not had much exposure to the Sun recently so I'm just gonna dot this on everywhere and roll with it so this holiday season has been um, good aside from the fact that I've been flipping sick I had like a a flare that wouldn't go away for about a month and a half like every time I thought I was done something would happen with the weather ordinarily and end up causing me to go back into it it's like and every time I went back into the flare it was worse than it was before I had a couple days at work where my angel co-workers took my kids everywhere because the only I was lucky I could even get my behind down the hallway to the bathroom it was so ridiculous and whenever I get in that kind of condition I get so mad and the reason I didn't um, just stay home that day is because it was a day that we had a reward movie planned for the kids we had read the BFG we were gonna watch the movie together 
and just do activities centered around with that in the center of it all and I didn't want to miss it I wanted to do that with my kids if you're wondering about my beautiful festive attire yes this is my nightshirt and I just finally guys I am a beast I'm changing my trash bag liner. Don't you love to be a part of all these mundane things that I do in my life? But I squeeze the water out of my blender into my waste basket, so I should have had this prepared for myself. But guess what? I did not. But anyway, completely forgot what I was talking about. I guess the movie, and I just didn't want to miss it with the kids because we had had it all going on and didn't want to miss it and so there are a couple of pretty difficult days but I have been trying so hard not to miss work it's so much easier really to go to work when you're a teacher because the prep for someone else to take over what is just your second nature is so time-consuming it's almost easier just to go but when you can't walk and you can't stand up straight uh, you're not doing much at work because with teaching you are on the move all the time you have to have your kids somewhere recess specials you know music PE computer lunch recess you're taking them or picking them up from somewhere every other second and so not being able to walk and our school consists of two wings the fourth grade wing and then the wing that has the second and third grades in it um, and so it's a long walk to a lot of places and we're talking I was having trouble going a hundred steps down the hallway it was so stupid I get so mad I get really mad whenever my independence gets interfered with I, I get an attitude if I'm being honest so I'm not sure how I like the way this looks but I don't think it's too light I always have to look in this mirror you guys probably wonder why I'm always leaning over because I need a far away perspective the mirror I use in front of me this simple human mirror is a magnified mirror and you know just like everything else in life when you're too close you can't see sometimes and so I try to cut it out but since this is a chit chat I just figured I would explain to you if you ever wondered why I always do that. That is why. I'm going to color correct and conceal. I really need to go get another one of these because I'm about to run out, but I really like this um, Revolution Conceal and Define um, Concealer. It's good stuff, man. It's a good price, too. And they sell these big ones. I got the wrong color. I'm so irritated at myself, but they sell these big ones now. They sell a super size. And so it lasts a lot longer. So that's what I'm going to get. I use the um, color C5. But anyway, so it's been a crazy time. And to be honest, I just grip my teeth and make it through. And sometimes it's like a blur when I look back on, you know, those days. Because I'm just like not really living. I'm just coping. And so Christmas sneaked up on me in a big way. Like I just couldn't believe that it was already Christmas. When Thanksgiving got here, I was like, what? When did that happen exactly? But it did. It did with the vengeance. So then we're off and running. 24 people that you buy presents for. 24 people that you plan party for. Um, and there's all these things that you want to do just to make the time special for them. And exciting and just, you know, enhance the, the season for them. And so we did... Um, I had some really awesome parents who helped me organize a pizza party for them for the Christmas party. Um, and I, we did Polar Express Day where we wore our pajamas to school, which is always fun. And um, had hot chocolate and watched the Polar Express. So that was fun. I would be lying to you fully if I did not tell you that I am so happy to be off work that I could just, like, I could almost cry I'm so happy because it's been a rough, um, really it's just the transition from, you know, the warmer weather into the cooler and the way it goes back and forth through a monkey wrench in my body and then I got the crud on top of it where I couldn't even talk so I'm going to school trying to you know wrangle these kids and I can't even talk it's 
crazy. But I have to tell you guys, last night I have been falling asleep in my recliner, usually editing. I mean, almost always editing or doing something with footage or something, falling asleep. And I fell asleep last night and I have had a cold right or whatever this crud is and I have been taking NyQuil and that stuff just knocks me smooth out. My husband tried to wake me up like four times. One time he said, honey, you're going to drop your laptop. So I must have just been completely zonked. Um, I just, you know, don't take much medicine aside from my fibro medicine. And so anything like that just affects me big time. I have no tolerance to it whatsoever. And I guess it's alcohol that's in it. I don't know. And since I don't drink alcohol, that's probably why I have zero resistance to it. But it knocks me smooth out. But this happened off of the NyQuil after I got home from church yesterday. I fell asleep and I had this bizarro dream. My husband was all in it. But the cool part about it was that in my dream was my dog Marley that I lost about two years ago. And every year at Christmas time, I just miss her more. And I guess that's just the name of the game when it comes to, um, you know, the holidays. Like people or pets or whatever that, who aren't there that you wish were there. It's just like magnifies it. I can't remember. I think it was Pastor Stephen said that the holidays magnify things for the good and for the bad. So like if you're super sad, the holidays magnify that and it makes it makes you sadder. And if you're super, super happy, then... Your, your happiness is magnified, which, of course, I prefer to have the happiness magnified. And I do try to stay on the grateful side of life and not the, this is what I'm missing side of life. But we all have our times, don't we? <laughs> and so anyway, Marley was in my dream. And it was so real to me. It felt so real to me. In my dream, I told you it was like completely bizarro. She's a great Pyrenees, so she had this big, heavy woolen fur, like a polar bear. And in the, they, the vets have always told us to never cut their hair really short because they have pink or white skin, like albino skin, and that she could burn really easily. So we never cut her hair short. Um, even at the groomers, they'd, we, you know, they'd trim her, but they would never cut it really short because we were afraid that she was going to get burned. But she had little freckles on her skin. And anyways, in the, in the dream, Patrick had shaved all her hair off except for she looked like a lion because she had all the hair up around her face and her chest. But I could see all of her freckles. And I was just running my hand up and down her back. And I was hugging her. I always used to kiss her right on top of her nose. And it was so real that I swear, I, I said to myself when I woke up, I told Patrick about it. I was like, I swear God knew how much I was missing her and sent her to me in a dream. Just so that I could hug her and kiss her. And tell her I love her and just get to see her one more time. Like, I'm about to cry just talking about it. <laughs> but I was so thankful for that because, you know... It just felt like I got to be with her again for a few minutes and it made me feel, it made my heart happy. Like happy and sad at the same time, you know, that bittersweet feeling, but I kissed her nose though. And that was super sweet and I love her so much and I pray that we are reunited in heaven. That has to happen, you see. Probably with all the pets that I ever loved. I'm watching the timer blink at me and usually that means that my card's about to be full. And so I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to bronze my face real quick. Until it does die. Alright guys, so it didn't cut off. So I just zipped through the bronzing anyway. I'm going to use my new... Um, Greek Goddess Highlight Palette. I've been experimenting with different combinations of these highlighters, but they're gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I've been mostly using 
Muse and Medusa mixed together with maybe a little topper of Harpy. These are the ones that go well with my skin and I just kind of mix them together. Um, and, but uh, I love these palettes. I'm so happy I got them and I'll link my video using them up there. Good Lord, you would think after all these years, all those years, all these times that I would finally figure out which direction to point. But no, nope, not me. I'm gonna not, somebody's, somebody's texting me. If I had to make a guess, Becky, Marlo, or Courtney. But anyway, so I really love these palettes and I will link the like first impressions thing for you. I only wish that the color of or actually the luminosity of the highlighters would translate on camera like I actually see it. It's just does it does it no justice. And these are just flipping gorgeous. The only place you can really see it is when I put it on my nose right here. So like what you're seeing here with the glow on my nose is what it actually looks like. And it's probably, I don't know if it's showing or not. <laughs> but anyway, um, our family gathering thing was mostly on Thanksgiving because my brother Rocky came in with his family from New Mexico. And so, oh my gosh, I said New Mexico. They don't live in New Mexico anymore. They came in from North Carolina. And so we got to see all them and that was a beautiful time and I was super happy to be able to see them. But I also, oops, left my fan on. Sorry if it's been buzzy. I'm gonna have to leave it on. I'm gonna start sweating. Nobody needs to see that. But anyways, they came then and so we enjoyed our time together then. But it makes for Christmas to be like my other brother and my daughter and everybody else we just kind of do our own thing on Christmas and then meet up as we can afterward. But this year it's going to be me and my mom and dad and my husband. Just just the four of us. And it's kind of cool because we can have our meal together and visit and hang out um, and have the meal together. And then my dad and my husband go in the other room and watch football. And my mom and I usually change into pajamas and crawl into bed together and watch Hallmark movies is usually what we do. She says she's got some saved up on DVR already ready to roll. So that's what we're going to do. And my mom is going, I was using the Beauty and the Beast La Rock palette. Um, my mom and I had like discussed what we were going to do. I kind of split the responsibilities of the cooking and um, she's going to make mashed potatoes and a ham and a turkey breast like just a small thing but small for my mom isn't small for everybody else and so the cool part about that is that those are both very keto friendly and more than likely she'll split it up and we'll be able to bring some home with us and my husband likes both of those too so we'll kind of have something to eat on for the next few days after Christmas without you know having to do too much because after Christmas you're just tired like I'm just done with cooking and everything else but I am making a pineapple upside down cake because that is my favorite and it's also my mama's favorite and I'm making um, homemade macaroni and cheese and I mean like no box like my own hands 14 different kinds of cheese and I mean I'm gonna do it up I'm not gonna make it till tomorrow morning though because I want it to be fresh and gooey and straight out of the oven not reheated like that just takes away from it for some reason for me it just doesn't taste as good if it's reheated so I am going to make macaroni and cheese and pineapple upside down cake All right, so my face is done except for my eyebrows. And I always look so weird when I have my whole face done except the eyebrows because it just looks funky. And this takes me 16 and a half years. I'm gonna have to zip through part of this or it's gonna be so long for you guys. So how about I zip through this part? 
or maybe let me just go off camera for this part. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go off camera for this part, do my eyebrows, and I'll be back, and we'll do the eyes and the lips. All right, so I never finished the story about the shirt. I finally learned that when I'm getting ready, if I put the shirt on that I'm gonna wear, I end up getting it all over everything. My eyebrows, the reason I came back on without my eyebrows all the way done is my eyebrows did, uh, or my eyebrow pencil is getting to the end and for some reason when that happens, it gets all crumbly. And I had one of these from the Ulta Beauty advent calendar. And I went through and I didn't find a whole lot that I wanted to use you guys, but I'm gonna use the eyeshadow and a liquid eyeshadow, um, a chubby, stick and I'm going to use one of the lippies from the Macy's thing. But I thought I would tell you that I am going to go ahead and use this this uh, Ulta Beauty. Ooh, that's super dark. I better use it just on the outside. I'm going to use the um, brow pencil. It's super dark. So I'm going to keep it to the tail. <laughs> or at least on this one. That one I already kind of went ham with it, but Anyways, I wanted to tell you too about the shirt because like I this is just how my my brain works. It just like takes off and goes down bunny trails and digress from I don't know if I like this. This is super creamy and looking streaky as all heck too. When I used it when I unboxed it, I already had my eyebrows done, so I just kinda went through and went over what I already had. So I'm going to stop there and go back with this and I'll come back with my eyebrows done and hopefully looking better than this because they're looking kind of janky at the moment. But like I said, nobody at uh, the Dollar General in Perkins, Oklahoma is going to give a rip about if my eyebrows are fleeky or not. So I'll be back with my eyebrows then. <laughs> so I forgot to stop it apparently. So yeah, I'm going to prime my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot. This thing is blinking at me, so I know it's almost about to die. So I will rejoin you whenever it does with a new card. And just let me say I'm not a fan of the way my eyebrows turned out at all. But at least I got some right. At least I got some. <laughs> there. And zoom in so you can see my eyes better. I primed my eyes with Apparently Paint Pot. I'm just going to go in with the translucent powder and set it. So that it does not crease before I get my eyeshadow on. Alright, so for the eyeshadow, like I said, I'm going to use this um, Ulta Beauty Gel Bounce Eyeshadow. And I think I'm going to try to put some of this gold in the center, kind of do a halo eye with these. And use this chubby stick to tight line and do all that jazz. Um, but since I don't have a transition color from either of the um, advent calendars, I'm going to use my new Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette that my good friend Marlo got for me because I just can't wait to play with it. In my opinion, that's a really good transition shade and that'll be a really good inner corner highlight for me. So this is what I'm going to use. Actually, this might be a better transition. Maybe I'll go in the, with this first and this after. We'll do it that way, but I'm probably going to zoom through this. Um, unless there's something that I feel like I need to tell you. So I also need to talk to a couple people. So if you see my mouth moving, it's because I'm taking care of business while I'm taking care of business.
All right, kids. This is what I came up with. I really like this, but it fell out all over my face, and so I had to keep reapplying it. So every time I went in to blend my crease, I had to reapply this. I tried to go in with this, but it didn't really do anything. So I went back over um, with this because it looked kind of patchy and funky. But this color is beautiful. I really like it, and I think it's a pretty smoky look, and I barely did anything. Um, but I, I really do like it. I think I'm going to go off camera and do my um, liner and la actually liner mascara. I'm not going to put lashes on because, well, I might. We'll see what happens once I do the other stuff because I need to save some space on these cards. Um, so I'll be back. All right. <laughs> okay, folks, I'm back. This is the final eye. I decided not to do lashes because I'm just going into town, in my little town, and I knew that that wouldn't, I don't need to be so fancy for that. But I'm going to use this one from the Macy's Advent, and I'm going to use the lip liner called Espionage. I'm going to put this all over my lips. This is a Buxom uh, Plump Line lip liner, and then I'm going to put this over top. Um, I hope that I don't run out of room. You guys, I got my, my new card on the way. It should be here today. I even went and checked before I started this video because I was hoping it would be here and I could use it today. But I'm going to warm this up on my hand. I'm going to put this espionage all over my lips and then I'll go in with the um, lippy from the advent calendar. All right, I decided I'm just going to kind of mush them together and then go in. I don't think I, I want this to show up a, a lot, so I don't think I'm gonna, yeah. I want it to be a little bit lighter in the middle. I'm feeling like this is super patchy, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. and then try to apply it just a little bit again. All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna go off camera and do a little something to my hair, put on my clothes, and I'll be back for my final thoughts and a goodbye. So this is the final look. I hope you like it. It's pretty grungy and very smoky, but I think it turned out pretty. And I think I made good use of the products, even though I wasn't a big fan of any of them. But I like what I came up with. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining me for Vlogmas and for this finale and hanging in there with me through all my craziness. I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas with your family and loved ones. And so until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys.